there welcome to the channel welcome to my daily misadventures here with the golf club 2019 and uh joining me here today for uh third round coverage saturday the 8th of june of the uh, amateur tours canadian uh, open uh cabot cliffs uh, light our course that we discovered uh, some time ago this was actually one of the first ones that i came across since then there's uh a lot more being added uh, some of it is legitimate be careful because some of it is simply not at all uh, or barely or you know just I don't know got part of it right but not all of it uh, uh, there's some guys out there that do some outstanding work uh, with the courses already and if they could apply the LiDAR technology to it that would just make their courses play more authentically for sure but they also have a knack and an artistic talent and eye and ability for everything else that you see you know besides just the playability of the course uh, uh, case in point you know Arctic Fury's uh, courses who I rave about because they deserve it uh, uh, he just put out the Amaryllis course that was just published within the last I guess a couple few days um, He's done Appletown, uh, Scarlet in Germany, and the Belvedere Club in France. Uh, these are all fantastically looking courses, complex yet playable. Um, and there's not and not a whisper of the word lidar in any any of his work so far. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me that uh, he's he's I don't know he's probably maybe been doing it all along and just didn't think that you know he needed to put the light our name in the name of the course which uh, I'm, le I'm at least glad you guys are doing that or at least the L in parentheses if not the whole word light R because you know you only have so many uh, spots here for text when you name your courses so uh, yeah anyway <clears throat> I digress uh, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go out and play that uh, I'm already playing that in my club uh, the Magnolia part three uh, you know, I might get to that after this round here. I am not sure what's going on with the uh, uh, with, with the team reach around here. I don't know. Some guys have like defected or got burnt out with the game, and these are stalwarts of the game. And this group of guys here have been playing for like ten years, back to Tiger Woods days and stuff like that, or maybe even longer. I don't know. And these guys here decide they don't want to play anymore because they're burnt out and they don't enjoy the game anymore. I think they're, well, not, to be honest, I think they're kind of letting down everybody they, they've brought along all these years, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, I, I came from my own spot uh, from we, you know, playing playing on the Wii back uh, starting, what, 2008, 2009, uh, whatever, with the Tiger Woods series. And, you know, I, then I went to the Xbox for one year with the Kinect, and then I went to the... Uh, PS3, we were playing with Move for uh, Tiger 13 and 14, I guess, and then uh, then it was a while, and then Rory came out, and by by then I my, I had a bad taste in my mouth with anything EA does in general, and it's, it's specifically what they've done with the golf game, you know, and the Tiger Woods game uh, over the years, you know, diminishing returns, uh, no updates to the to the game engine, and adding features one 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 year that you've been waiting forever for and playing all the time like uh, match play i think it was 11 i think it was tiger 11 there we finally got uh, maybe it's 12 we finally got the match play in there and then oh yeah you know the next year and not only is all the match play stuff going you can't even get four guys together in the game at the same time anymore so anyway, like I said, I had a bet, but I, I came up through the Tiger. I came from a totally different thing, but I had, you know, I had clubs going. I had all kinds of, you know, organized stuff going on with the game, and I'm still here playing it, and I have my days where I'd like to walk away. I, you know, I had stuff going on a few months ago back, you know, December, January, and, yeah, you know, I just, I don't know, just didn't have the, uh, the motivation and the ambition to follow up uh, with this game like I was. And, you know, what I did is I, I just got one of the other guys that had set the tournaments for a while. Well, I, well, I just got my head together. Yeah. I just needed a break. I took the break. I came back. I felt better. And, you know, we, uh, we've had a, a, a round of golf available here at our amateur club each and every day since this game was released. Uh, back to TGC2 is the same thing when they introduced the uh, society clubs there. You know, day one, you know, 
I had a club set up and I had, you know, got the word out and I had something to play for all my friends because in the first game there, you didn't have clubs and societies. You just had guys on your friends list. You, you could set stuff up to play, but, uh, you know, only the guys on your leaderboard or on your uh, friends friends list, you know, your friend uh, request list was, uh, could get into it. So if somebody, you know, somehow found your tournament, they wanted to play it, they had to friend you. Anyway, TGC2, it changed it. They introduced the clubs and stuff here. Now TGC 2019, we have the PGA Tour tie-in, which is underutilized, under-leveraged. I don't know, this must have came about late with their affiliation with 2K to get this game out. There's so much more that could have been done with TGC 2019 here. Hopefully with whatever game they're working on next, whenever it comes out, yeah, they fully realize, you know, what they have, you know. EA didn't do it all wrong, you know, but, you know, they did enough of it wrong there where they just, you know, got to the point I didn't really want to play, play their golf game anymore. And that's sad because I love golf. Anyway, I digress. We're going to head on out here for the Amateur, uh, Amateur Canadian Open 10K at Cabot Cliffs. Third round coverage here Saturday, the 8th of June. Hole in one, round one on 17. Good for you there, Abe. Okay, and so, you know, you come to my, you know, it's a public and free green fees. It tells you what the green fees and the costs are going to be. It tells you uh, that uh, I kept m most of the streams uh, on extreme, like wind and fairway and green furnaces. I tried not to not to use the outer limits. Um, it tells you that I try to match up with where the PGA is playing that particular week for the big four rounder. Uh, it tells you that we're playing a true sim style here with only the approach and putt uh, camera view available. And it also tells you that uh, you use whatever clubs you want. Uh, no one's going to bust your balls. Okay. It tells you everything. It tells you to send me a friend request if you want to be included in the club uh, message board and stuff. That's all. So anyway, we got uh, Second round did not work out particularly well for me. I'm still one under par here for the tournament. Coming into the weekend, nowhere near the top. Uh, maybe, maybe a chance here to put a finger hole into a podium finish. Sure, depends on how many guys come around to play. Quick look at the schedule, as I always do. Upcoming this week, this is where we are now. Four rounds through the weekend. Uh, next week's the U.S. Open, and, you know, I thought this was a no-brainer, and I was going to set, you know, I thought I was going to set Pebble, you know, for Thursday to Sunday as a major, and, uh, you know, and then I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and, you know, it's like everybody's going to be using Pebble, you know, for some kind of a big tournament next week if they match up with the PGA. I'm going to do something different. So what I did here is I got Pebble uh, set up for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday only, three rounds here for the Clint Eastwood Classic. Uh, there's there's 10,000 uh, bonus uh, bonus coin purse involved in there, even though it doesn't say there. And uh, what I decided to do actually was, uh, was beginning Thursday, uh, we're going to head on out to Spyglass Hill, Spyglass Hill Golf Course, uh, the tour edition, which means it's got uh, spectator stands and spectators about if you're playing in some kind of a setup tournament. Four rounds, also 10k. So and. Uh, you know, Spyglass is one of those courses that come into play in February when they uh, got the AT&T uh, uh, Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Uh, not everybody plays on Pebble all the days. They got, uh, I think they got Cypress Hill or Cypress. Yeah, Cypress Hill, I think, is one of the courses. And Spyglass here, I think, is the other one. They kind of mix it up there, uh, you know, as before you get into the weekend here so everybody can get out there and play. And it gives you a nice, you know, good look at these. So anyway, I've decided to use Spyglass Hill for the four-round uh, uh, major tournament. It's going to be a major. So uh, uh, your points, uh, you know, your, whatever points you get for playing or is, is up to the max. Okay. So anyway, that's what we got going on there. And then once we get into the next week there, I'll worry about what's happening the following week. You know, don't really worry about so much at one time. Anyway. Uh... Going out here to Cabot Cliffs, beautiful course, um, complex yet playable. Uh, finding the uh, light art courses as a rule, not all the time, but as a rule to be somewhat shorter than a lot of the courses. Generally, don't don't exceed seven thousand yards, or if they do, it's not by much. 
um, you know, if you're doing an RCR, you know, authentic recreation of, of a course, which is obviously what, what LiDAR is supposed to help you to do, because you're actually using, you know, authentic information on an authentic piece of the earth uh, where a golf course is. So, uh, and, you know, you see other ones there that, you know, got these extra long tees, 7,500 yards. You know, there's, there's nothing real. But you could take one of these LiDAR courses. You know, you, you could add an additional tee up there just for, you know, just for one tournament or something like that. You know, the, the, the designer could do that. Anyway, I digress. I'm just talking here. Uh, C.J. McPherson, man, that's that's one ugly, that's one ugly dude, man. Shoo, that's scary. And well, I've already taken some swings today, as you can see. Our uh, everything is off here. Uh, we have the approach and putt camera uh, set to any. So if you use it and you have it uh, uh, enabled, you got it. And for whatever reason you decided not to ever use it, I don't know why you would do that. It just seems to me a, be a fundamental uh, way to play, especially in true sim. Um, so anyway. Everything is off. Uh, so today's third round conditions. We have firm fairways to moderate firmness greens. Putting will be fast. We are looking at a morning lighting, light cloud, medium wind from the southeast condition here. So I, not too crazy. We've been playing from the white tees, which are not the tips. And today we are going to the number four flag location, which I expect is the most challenging. But we shall see uh, if you're playing good that day, it don't matter where the flags are. And if you're playing bad, you know, <laughs> it don't matter where they are. Anyway, off we go. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe or, you know, whatever you all do on that YouTube stuff. I'm oh, sure I'll need a break at some point uh, at the turn. It's 9.35 a.m. starting out here. John McCarthy, and I'm glad you chose... And I'm glad you chose to join us today here on the TGC Network as we get ready for this championship event. This is the third round and we are excited. Let's get down to the first tee and pick up on the action. Obviously we're not using any of the uh, scout cameras or zooms here, so it's yeah, almost imperative to watch the flyover. Uh, right, fly stick way in the back here, okay. Uh, so here, what we can do here is we can switch to the putter, hit the triangle button, that activates the approach and putting camera. Which you can do from anywhere if you, were, if you uh, equip the putter. And which you can do with any club if you're within 45 yards of the green. That's how that works. Alright, well, we don't have a whole lot of infrastructure here. We do have a, a road coming in. Kind of looks like a place there where you just show up and play. It's not a hotel resort or anything like that. If this is indeed uh, authentic. I do believe this is in uh, Nova Scotia. Yeah, nothing fancy. Yeah, absolutely nothing fancy going on here. Right, wind is not terrible today. This drive go going for days. Well, I don't know if it's going out for days. I just know it's going through the light green area and not a brown area or a blue area or a deeply crunchy dark green area. Hello, you are. I'm not sure what we want to do here. Obviously, we can. This is going to roll out about 10 yards too long, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do, we're going to back off here to Mr. Green Jeans, I think.
Well, no, that appears to have been a good choice of club, sir. Well, no. Okay. Uh, we, we can work with a little bit of that. Shot just there, hitting this par five we can work with a little bit of good fortune here to kick things off. With a, with a, yeah, we definitely with a new eye. We got 163 on a green speed. Looks like we're going to be putting a little bit left to right here. We still keep it in the cup, though. Oh, wow. It did not cut back to the right. Wow. Okay. It and didn't go the right way. I didn't hit it hard enough, and it, and, it, and, it, and it broke the other way. Okay. Hmm. Strange. Something I didn't see there. But we'll start off with a birdie and move on. Charlie's out there 300 through 3 today. Cap 100 through 1. Okay. I guess his first hole wasn't, uh, and now teeing off on wasn't a tough one for anybody. Four. Which is fine. Nice lighting today. You do a little bit better job of blending in them cart path uh, terminations, but okay. And this shot's looking promising. There was no reason to take anything longer than the, than the four wood at this. Because you can pop it right where you want to and leave yourself a short iron in. You're the right club today, bitch. Yeah, this could be long. Yeah, not by much though, Johnny. Not by and much. This one is on the green with a lengthy putt ahead. Started to come back down at the very end, yet uh, this putts right around mm -hmm. two feet. I thought that was going to be a more violent uh, turn. I really thought that would be more violent. Currently sitting at one under for the day, and now let's move to the third hole. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. Should kick big time to the right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. 
You drop a wedge on that. Should be what, about 70 yards, 75 yards. There we go. Okay. And nothing wrong with that shot. Looking like eight feet to the cup here. And I pulled that a little bit too. You think I would have missed that left? But yeah. and tapping it in for right. the par. All right, pars aren't bogeys. And pars aren't the uh, birdies you got to get. Day. Charlie, four hundred through five there. All right, he's really lighting this and place up. up on the par three. One ninety-eight par three. All right. This is like a double double green here we got set up. Yeah, it's taking us out to there, but the flag is over here on the right. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. All right. Confusing bit of business here, but yeah. All right. You the right club. Come on, I pulled you a little bit. I know, I know, I did that on purpose. Come on, come on, kick over to the right for me. There we go. A couple yards too many, but okay. This putts for I'm putting now. So it's down. Come on, turn right, turn right. Oh, oh my man, that was, a, that was very close. Wow. Uh, well, parts of birdies you don't need to get later on. At the leaderboard. Okay. And after that one, staying pretty steady here. All right. Third place on the leaderboard. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, see what the fifth is in store for there's us. There's only three of us. Okay. Like that might actually be in a spot here where you could actually actually make some bacon with this, right? Wind against no, nah, not today. All right, not today. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Let me drop a wedge on that, get a birdie out of it.
Stop. Stop, sir. Okay, I'm this taking that a bit more to the right. I hit that really good, too. Just need to be hit more to the right. Okay. For the birdie. Okay. All right. Okay. And now we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee off. Here we are, 156 par three, number one on the stroke index. I'm not quite sure why, except the green is. Pretty complex. Uh, there's you know, a few different sectors here. You do not want to be short left. You don't want to be short right. You don't want to be short middle. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. I know you want to. Well, Go in the hole. Definitely heading towards the green. Go in the hole. Come on. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Well, I hit that just right too. All right. I can putt yeah, off that fairway want, cut. I think that's. Too yeah, much I think the, club on that yeah, one. fairway cut is yeah is just as good as the uh, fringe cut, which is almost as good as the uh, green cut. Worries me though. I was going to say it's downhill, but I know damn well it, it's got to be a little bit downhill, right? This is to that was not good. All right. Because now I've left myself more, definitely more, more. And that's number one on the stroke index. Okay. Here we go. There's your answer. your answer. And finishing the hole with okay. a solid putt. That was that was that was more stress than I wanted and for that part putt. Alright. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. Okay. Okay. Depending on the wind, pick a bunker and shoot over it. Oh, green or the flag, yeah. Okay, yep. Short left, short right, long left. None, none of the above is any good here.
Come on. And uh, nicely done, looking like. I just want to kick to the right. Here. We found the spine here and the, yeah, the spine and the fairway. Go in the hole. I know you got a chance. Come on. I know you want to. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Mm, no. All right. Get off the green then. Okay. I think you'll like that. Well, it's not on the green, so it's going to give me a driver. Yep, so I can chip or flop. I'm thinking the flop is in order here. Power. So it's about 10 feet from the cup. Right on the money, too. Needed more power. All right. That's the kind of birdie putt I want to live on, for sure. There was a break up there by the hole. I didn't hit it hard enough to find it. Well, okay. Well, I turned a and after probable birdie here in the third place on the leaderboard. Uh, number nine on the index. Eh. Mm. Turned a possible birdie into a par. Okay. And next up is the par five. Already, what we have here is a eh, shortish par five here because we're not playing from the tips because we're supposed to be the amateur club here for the most part, right? A little more left, a little more left than I was anticipating, and yep, I caught myself a piece of the first cut there, which is, eh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Just about the right, right distance for the hybrid. Just about the right distance for the hybrid out of the. Just about the right distance for the hybrid out of the rough. If it lands hard and keeps rolling, I'll be in good shape here. Come on, at least get to the top of this little hill here, so I got a downhiller. Come on, come on, come on. 
Okay. Very this well was a par played, five, right? Hitting this par five and yeah. two okay. is going to set up some serious possibilities. Wow. Yeah, a couple more feet. A couple of more feet up. And this puppy would have been going downhill. It's yeah. barely going to get there, but it's going to keep on going, right? Yeah. Well, that was an eagle putt, believe it or not. From here, this is about 10 feet away. All right, at least we got it down here on the level. Too hard. Ooh, I had the line too. Just a little too hard. Shit. And then I've turned another. Well, struck index 17. I've I've turned a probable birdie into a par. Assuming, of course, I don't get bad on this uh, bit of short business here. Getting all these damn dirty eight. But all right. That's the way we at. In third place. On the leaderboard. Right, hole number eight. All right, Charlie, six hundred through ten today. That's, yeah, that's a cut above. You know, twenty-one under for the, you know, two and a half rounds into this tournament, he's twenty-one under par. I mean, you know, he's he's lapped everybody three times over now. And on to the ninth hole. All right, we got us a definitely a short bit of business here. Still, the fly seems to be up there in a bit of a bowl. I would really like to 117. It's still like 112. It's going to still be five yards short. All right, so that means we we got to take this club. All right, we got to take. 122. We got to take like 10 yards off of this, which. Well, I don't know if we can take 10 yards off of this. I don't know if I can take 10 yards off of this club. I actually don't know. Overshot the green on this one. Yeah, yeah that was going to be a toughie. It's just, uh, that, that was a bad approach. distance for me. And it looks like the fade did not work in his favor yeah, on that, that one. That was a bad distance for me. Two feet from the cup. Get in the hole. And after that one, sitting at two under for the day. And that means he's third place. All right, well, two under par front nine. Okay, I'll, I'm, you know, I'll be happy with that. Uh, there was no bogeys I had to... Uh, Recuperate from. Uh, I managed a par three on the number one and number three stroke index. Uh, 
I managed to par a par four, number five on the stroke index. So I managed to par a par three, seven on the stroke index. To wrap up the front nine, all right. Coming up, we got a par five. We got another three par threes. All, all the par threes are up there. Okay. Wow, we got three par fives and three par threes on the back. Okay. Uh, well, the par threes, or par threes are long, playing long, well, eh, eh, not too long, 178, playing from the whites, right, 161, 129, okay, right. see if we can, uh, okay, and the tenth hole, let's avoid that back nine jinx that, uh, I usually, uh, I usually somehow experience, And we got plenty of fairway here to work with. What's uh, what angle do we want here to get to the flag here for a possible second shot? Obviously, we don't want to have anything to do with this crevasse here. Uh, let's see in the back, we want to go straight at the flag if we can. Oh, well, this is an insanely powerful drive off the tee here, folks. Well, it hit, it bounced pretty much straight. Any amount to the right would have only helped, but okay. And about 220 yards away. And I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm liking the Red Dead. I'm liking Red Dead for this. I think that's the hybrid. I'm liking a Red Dead Club for that. Okay. It's a little more complex here at this uh, upper right. That's for sure. I just don't, just don't leave me with a one foot uphill, please. Very well played, and hitting this par five and two is going to set up some well, nice it's still a foot up, but it's, I don't think it's a hard foot. If you know what I mean? Uh, we definitely. A big tilt here. A tig all built. A tig all built. It's like them tig all biddies. Didn't, okay, didn't all right, all right. it's on the fringe. Oh, it was on the fringe. Just put, just went yeah, I think I would. No, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to put. Yeah, no, nah, I can't try to put that. So I, I guess I got to chip this. Yes. Here. Well, good news is uh, pars or bogeys, you don't have to come back from. Even though this is 12 on the stroke index, we're gonna we're just gonna be happy to maintain our clean round here so far. And after that one, uh, holding steady. 
in third place. And moving on to the 11th hole. All right, 392 par 4 on the short side, but, uh, you know, many obstacles here. Approach to the flag location is fighting the wind, uh, it's playing chicken with a bunker. Up the right side of the fairway. Short grass. Just get some kind of a pitch in here. Yeah, we got a shot here. The wind shouldn't uh, confront things too badly here. We need 62. We need like 65. Man, we're going to need the 70 club. Yeah, we're okay with the 68 club here, I think. Got a decent lie here, okay. Should be right on it. Come on, come on. Give me some, uh, give me some love. Give me a roll up. Come on. Shit. Ugh. Get off the green. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Get on the fairway cut. You want to be on the fringe. All right, what do we got to do here? Oh, come on. Slow. Oh, come on with the slow. Yeah, no. That is essential for saving power. Ah, shit. Shit. Damn it. What did I do wrong there? Too much club off the tee. Left myself a pitch instead of a full shot. That's what I did, though. I took too much club off the tee. For the length of this hole, it's under 400 yards. The, the, the last thing I should have pulled out of my bag was a friggin' driver. Last thing. Last thing I should have pulled out of my bag was that friggin' driver. This putt's about a two footer. Shit. Damn it. That was not the hole to fail on, folks. Ten on the stroke index. That was not the hole to fail on. Not when I got three harder holes, including two par threes ahead of me here, directly. And this next shot is sitting uh, above the hole, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, that was not the hole to screw up on. Thank you. 
I'm going with the seven iron on this one. This is heading towards the green. Going to haul. Well, there was some pinpoint shooting there. And this putt is for birdie. There, there's an alternate universe there where that, that just like, you know, jumped into the hole. All right, it landed there, and yet it's here. So... Go, go, go! Oh, oh I put that, that extra close. half a ball, extra at the very end of aiming that up, and that's what I missed it by. You believe that shit? Damn. And tapping in for All right, it's a par. The pars are, uh, and birdies I don't need to get. Under for the day. Stay even. All right. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Yeah, I'm all philosophical today, as you can tell, right? Yeah. Pause your bogeys, you don't gotta get birdies to fix, you know. Birdies are, are, are bogeys, you don't have to come back from later on, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm all full of shit today. Another one, why, why am I taking driver? Why am I taking a driver? I don't need it. Probably gonna get leave me a pitch instead of a full shot. And he will like that. If I can't get it to like, well, if you can get it that far, if you can get it that far, you got a chance of dropping a wedge on it instead of. Uh, Not too much. Come on, fight. And yeah. this is for birdie. I hit it good. It was just too much club for, but the gap wedge would have been way short. Wow, just, just that did not away. come back. Oh, oh, behind the hole it turns left. Okay. Yes, about three feet to the cup. That's right when it does. Behind the hole. Okay. Get in the damn hole. And the par putt will drop. <laughs> and after that one, staying pretty steady here in the third place on the leaderboard. Uh, one more hole and maybe I can, maybe I can breathe for a hole. 
and just about to uh, tee off on this par three. Okay, short is not. Got to carry it to the green. 146 down 13. Okay, so it's like 130, 46 is like 142. We need like 148, so we probably need all of that. And okay, I like the way just it's sitting, just the way it is. Okay. Here's a nine iron. Oh, in the right club. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Looking breeze. Come on. Good. Yep, yep, come on, come on. Kick. Sit. Okay. Okay, and he's on the green now. And this putt is for Birdie. Oh my gracious, that, was that that extra half or half a ball I put on that hole on that that put a few holes ago that was too much. That's where it needed it right there. That's where it needed, it and I didn't do it. And tapping Dumbass. in for par. Well, my green money putter is not. And after that one, holding steady here. Not really rewarding me today. However, I have just gotten through those three holes I was worried about at even par. And now we go to hole numbers. Hole number 15, which is a par 5, 16. Hello, oh, three viewers. How you doing, guys? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Appreciate it. All right, we got par 5 coming up here, 16 on the stroke index. Uh, let's see if we, can, moving on to the see if we can make something out of this. I'd like to at least get, get a birdie here. Okay, we got... Uh, Whole counties, whole zip codes worth of empty space out here in this fairway. We do have this uh, scar of a deep fairway bunker between us and the hole on our second shot. Uh, okay, we can't be too short there, or it's going to get weird. Some reason here, my sight lines are askew here. What's what's the problem here? Eh, no, I think I'm all right. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, right. Fairway bound. Yeah, there's all kinds of room there. You can screw up a little. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, all right, maybe we got a decent angle here with the flag stick. We can't be short. There's like a, there's like a hump. To the pin from here. There's like that hump. 192 to the front of the green. It's down 26, but it's only down 29. And most of that is right there as soon as you get on. 211 up against the wind. I'm, all right, I'm like in the Red Dead Redemption Club here. Shot's looking pretty good. Yeah, sit. No, don't roll away. Come on. Come on. I know it's all it's all uphill. Come on here. Come on back. Come on. Come back. 
Ugh. Fantastic work on this par five, hitting the green in two. Yeah. It's only three inches up from there. Come on, that, that wasn't a whole lot of slope. Now, you see what I was talking about the front of the green there, though? I just got that, that hump there straight on. Right over, right there where, the, where that flag location thing is right there. That That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to be short there. enough did I nope this one looks about uh, four feet Right, got the birdie I wanted. Okay, needed that to get back to uh, get back for that uh, that uh, hole uh, hole number hole number eleven. It didn't need to happen. That bogey it didn't need to happen on a ten stroke index. Okay, we got a sixteen coming up here. It's a par three, but four on the stroke index. All right, if I can get past this one. Well, let's let's get past this one first, and I'm worried about and what comes next. Up on the 16th yeah, this uh, this is an accident. This this is heartbreak waiting to happen here. This is this is that happy ending that wasn't happy. This is. Going with the pitching wedge here. And pitching wedge proving to be a bit too much here. It's okay, just be the same. That's all right. Okay, that's all right. Unlucky. I was either going to be there or exactly where I wanted it. Club, I think. Exactly where I wanted it was about... about nine feet, nine, ten feet over to the right of the hole there where it might have caught it into that slope and rolled down to the hole. That's where we needed that. All right. I've left myself in one of those one of those camera predicaments here where uh, that doesn't help you. You know, that's. I'm not sure there. Wow. Okay. 
I'm not sure to up and out to the gap wedge was the right choice there. I guess this is better than still being on the bunker. However, we're still not putting. Almost, that yeah, was almost a miracle. And here we are. Uh, okay. For part three, four on the stroke index, late in the round. Yeah, bogey. Absolutely. And tapping okay. in for bogey. Yeah, that was that was a tough hole. I'm not sure I could have hit that to the middle of the green and, and done any better than a three putt anyway, to be honest. I think I just really had my work cut out for them. Look at that, 10 under for Charlie through 10 holes today, and I'm struggling over under par. Look at that crap. Holy shit. Okay, moving on to the 17th now. All right, number 17, par 4. It's short. Again, a sucker tee shot. Uh, nothing but heartbreak. Spot I want to aim for here, and I'm having trouble finding it. Right, there it is. I think that's it. And a promising looking shot here. Right, it's going to come up. It's going to go into the slope. Come on. It's going to come back to the hall. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whee! Right, no, no. The other hall. Not that big, that, that big hall, hall there where it's all filled with that blue shit. No. And my apologies. Wow. Uh, that actually ended up in the rough. Okay. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I, I did tell you this was a sucker tee shot, right? I don't think it was. This one, this one. Setting up for the 36-foot putt. And, and seeing where that flag is and the way this green is shaped there, I mean, what what kind of a fairway shot was I going to make? Yeah. I couldn't even drop a wedge uh, wedge on the whole green side. Something tells me that was the, uh, the only thing that, that that was the birdie putt. That's the only thing this has going for it.
And finishing this hole out with okay. a solid putt. All right. All right. And after that hole, one that was starting. That was starting to look bad there for a minute. In third place. And we head on out here. Okay, to the 18th hole is a par five. Okay, is there a chance? Well, what we have is a chance to get that that last bogey back. And That's all we got. On to the 18th hole. All right. Lots of drama here. Most of it visual. Obviously, this crevasse here is not a problem. At 475 yards here, you can easily play the tee shot out to the left of this. This bit of business here. That's probably the last place you want to be is right there off the right. All right, what do we got to do here to find happiness? So it's 294 way out there, so, you know, that, that's barely... Should be no problems out here. It's usually going to bounce forward and well away from the goose. All right. I've done better here. And about 175 yards away here. Let me see. We need the... Uh, Got to some, somehow wrap this around that bunker. All right, do I want to tap to 160? Uh, can I hammer to 160? I can actually, all right, I can actually get something on the 160. Two, it's up three, it's level. All right, so, 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 so. Well, I don't know what I want to do here. Here's an eight iron. Is it enough? It might have been the shot, but is it enough? No, sir, it is not. Okay, and hitting this par five and two, that's some fine club work out there. Hit that too hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was very close. Yeah, yeah. I just lost total. Total control. Now, you're wondering what those table and chairs are sitting up there. On, on the actual course, there is something this putts for birdie. set up out there off the 18th. And uh, obviously, that isn't authentic. But, they're, they're, yeah, there's definitely something... something to all that there's some kind of I don't know area or a patio it looks like you got a putting green I guess that's a I don't know is that a putting green up there it could be a putting green up there so you know I'm not seeing anything that looks anything like a like a clubhouse or a hotel or you know anything Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to distract you here from that nasty that nasty putt I just made.
Okay. Not a good speed read on that. Just uh... And about four feet from the cup. Well, the last thing I wanted here was a four-foot putt here to end this. Alrighty, well, that's 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 a birdie that uh, we really needed to get here to salvage our uh, second round. And I'm only 23 off the lead. <laughs> Apparently, once you reach a level 100 on this, there is no level 101. It keeps giving you. XP and you know, keep giving you XP, uh, not that it helps. I guess occasionally it'll give you <clears throat> some more clothing or whatever items there that you don't, uh, some of them you have to get, you either have to buy or you have to get them off of uh, the PGA career thing, which I have no interest in either. All right, well, still. All the stars in the world, all right? We are not advancing around four. That will be tomorrow, so I will take this opportunity to thank for watching this round. Now, was I going to go out and play the masochist today? Magnolia to par three. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to play that. Uh, all right, I'm just going to take a few minutes here for a bathroom break. I'm going to go out and play the, the Magnolia par three. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, that's the that's the good one. If it says Magnolia, it's it's the good Augusta stuff. If it says Augusta, it's not it's not Augusta. So you got the Magnolia Part Three, and you got the Magnolia National uh, uh, Tour Edition there. That's the one that's most authentic to Augusta, and it's set up with the you know the crowds and the spectator stands for the tournaments and stuff. So that's what you want to play. All right, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
All right, Earthlings, I'm back here. All right, we're going to go out and play the Masochist Sim Club uh, uh, thing today. Uh, 450 to play at the Magnolia National Park. Three. He's got 5,000 coin uh, and a bonus here to play that. Huh. Eh, I don't know. It's nine holes and it's, it's fun. I don't know if he's uh, if he set it with the uh, military grade uh, green concrete uh, and uh, ordered up the, you know, the hurricane winds, uh, you know, it's going to be less fun, but, uh, let me see, I played, oh, I played that, okay, shot a three over par, yeah, I'm certainly not in second place with a three over par, I don't know, yeah, eighth place with a three over, uh, second to last, okay, I did, however, lead the uh, over par uh, amateur contingent, okay, Right where I right where I belong. Okay, that's where I usually wind up. It's fine. Okay, this is a real golf great challenge. Thrilled to shoot par. Glad to do it. Par is for a great nice club. We're coming. Boston. Awesome. We visit home soon. We're going to as we prepare for the Masters. Okay. Well, we've already had the Masters, and I know Darvon is is smart enough to know that uh, he's going to use Magnolia for that. Unfortunately, I don't want to play because I just, you know, last month uh, or April, you know, for my club, I said, you know, I said the Magnolia and we played, you know, the four rounds at the Masters. And then when we get together, you know, in the evenings for the casual alt shots and skins games and stuff, you know, you know the Augusta, you know, the Magnolia course comes up often enough, you know, it's. Anyway, today's event is this. Uh, Two days to play. All right, this booze guy, 2407, is already out. We got two days to play one round here. All right. Um, I don't think this is going to give us any details on how we set it up. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, but that's that's its normal. Yeah, that's its normal uh, setup. Right. Right, we'll just go out and play it with the hell. Right. It's only nine holes, and they're short holes, so what are you going to do? And then I'm going to go do something else. I got some baseball to play. I got some Gran Turismo Sport, uh, but I'm trying to get my settings stuffed together with uh, Project Cars 2, which is a whole different animal uh, than, than Gran Turismo. I mean, I mean, as far as all the different options for individual, you know, cartooning setups all over the place. You know, you know, so, you know I had the same thing with Project Cars, the first game. You know, it's just number one, you needed, a, you know, you needed a wheel and pedals, and you had to have some know-how. You know, you really had to have some know-how with that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you're, you're, you know. You're, you're really you're really gonna flounder uh, as as of so far here the, you know I mean the out of the box settings you know without anything turned up difficulty or anything like that I just set it you know for manual transmission which is a you know the um, I I just can't I can't steer smoothly I'm either I'm either oversteer steering immediately you spinning out or under steering or the brakes aren't on taken yet you know and I don't find Gran Turismo Sport, you know, easy to play, but you can get in a car and drive, you know, I mean, it's, you know, there's some settings you can mess with where you can, you know, where you can take, you know, 
you know, a half a second or a second or, you know, a few seconds off of a lap time there and compete maybe with some practice, but there, there is a whole lot less to do than in Project Cars 2 to accomplish uh, some of the same things, so. Um, Project Cars 2, you know, the aesthetic course, uh, iRacing out there, yeah, these are all games with a whole lot more depth, um, to, you know, to to the, you know, immersion authenticity and like a game like Gran Turismo or even Forza on the Xbox side, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, plus I got baseball to play here and there's some new players out there I got to get. I thought I was done buying Yankee players, but apparently I, I am not. There's a, there's a Claiborne Torres uh, uh, playing shortstop um, player of the month because uh, he's been filling in over there because uh, Didi Gregorius was injured at the beginning, I mean, to open the season, I mean, last night was like his first game, you know, you know, back with the big clubs, you know, and we're already into June, because he had been, in, he had an injury, um, so, you know, Yankee shortstop was by a committee here for, but anyway, now there's a player of the month, Clay Torres, which is, uh, I don't know, how to, and plus now we got a signature, CC Sabathia, too, from like 2000, and I don't know, whatever year he first came over to the Yankees, uh, when he was still, you know, when he, when he could still get the fastball up to the mid, mid-high 90s, you know, so, and that's like 110,000, and I'm, I am not buying that, and I, and I am not grinding to get it for nothing, but I am not buying it either, so, I, I got pitching I got, anyway, I digress, you're talking about a baseball game here when I should be talking about this year, golf game, so off we go. Probably lost all my viewers. All right, so everything, yeah, it's, it's the usual. It's a firm, firm, fast, medium wind. I don't know if that's a default or if that's something he set up. I don't know. I'll just get back into that. I think when guys are making courses, they should put, they should publish them up with every, like, everything right down the middle, you know. Um, if it's a course that's in the Northwest United States or Canada where it's typically damper and there's more rain and stuff there, yeah, ab absolutely, you know, publish it up with, you know, softer screens and stuff if, if it's an, an RCR or a light or a course or something like that because that's how it would play, you know, in its natural state. But, you know, as far as other stuff there, you know, you don't design it with wind. You don't design it with a wind, even with a wind direction, um, uh, unless you're going the extra mile for a time of day thing where the, you know, where the, where the wind direction and speed might match up with, you know, the time of day lighting, you know, and, and, and compass. And something you don't see while you're playing the game is when you're in a designer, you, you can actually design a course on the on a, on a compass directions. You know, there's a north, south, east, and west. And if you're doing, a, you know, a legitimate course, you, you, can, you can align, you know, the property square to that uh, before you even start. But uh, you don't see all of that when you're playing. So unless it's a course like, you know, Pebble Beach, where obviously the ocean is west, you know, or, you know, like sawgrass, you know, the ocean is east, you know, stuff like that, where it's, where it's plain, you know, some inland course there that, you know, you're not really familiar with. The PGA doesn't play on it. You know, you're, you're not really sure which, which way is west, which way is east, north, south, whatever. All right, let's go play this. I talk about this game a lot because I love the game, you know? I want more from it. I want things that it does decently to be better. I want things that it's not doing to show up either in this version or the next. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John McCarthy, and I'm just so happy to welcome you to our coverage of this event on the TGC Network. Today's event will be one single round only, so this one's for all of the marbles. Let's get down to that first tee, see what happens. You know, if you're not aware, this par three uh, course at Augusta finally came into prominence, uh, what, maybe 10, maybe 15 years ago? The, the, the Wednesday before this, the tournament starts, the Wednesday was always this, you know, fun, lighthearted, family get together thing where they came out on this par three course and you know it was nothing official it was just a, a good time 
Um, and what it's turned into, you know, it's like a family thing. You know, guys are bringing their wives and kids and girlfriends and uh, they're letting their caddies tee off and they're letting their kids, you know, putt putt out on the ninth hole and stuff like that. And, you know, it's not, and no, nobody really wants to win it because anybody who's actually ever won it has never actually won, won the Masters. So nobody wants to win the par three contest anyway. So they're always going to find a way to disqualify themselves, even, even though they kind of, you know, set this up as, you know, there will be an official winner. Yeah. Nobody wants to win. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so what do we got to do here to do something with this? We, the 108 is not going to be enough. So we have to take the 122. We got to scrub, what about 22. We got to scrub about 8 yards off of this, which shouldn't be a big problem. Okay. Need a right club today. Oh, okay, all right, not terrible. Well, that, that approach I can probably cut off that fairway cut. Like I don't think, and just not uh, enough one club is, on uh, that one. Uh, it's a foot up though. Yeah, if it wasn't well, I would say that one foot up is within the first foot and a half of where I am. All right, so I guess we got to chip this. Right. Like I could have rolled on a little bit more, but that was going to be sensitive. Uh, yeah, now it's 187, up the hill. Alright, move on. And now let's move to the second hole. Beautiful course, anyway. Anyway, that's what I was getting on about. It's a beautiful course. It's got the pine straw areas. Which, eh, you know, a little too monochromatic. They, I don't know, they really just feel like the cart paths. They need a way to blemish the cart paths up. I mean, you, you, if you trace them out there, I mean, they're, they're perfect, you know, when broken by a crack or a wear or a missing piece or, you know, anything, you know, they, they just need to find a way for us to, you know, wear them out, blemish them up. All right, I think we're going to pitch here, 65, 65 is going to go like 68. It's not going to be enough, though, I think, right? 63, 68, 76, it's going to be like 70, all right, all right, I'm digging that, all right, what do we got to do here, it's 9 feet down 10, it's down 9, 68, all right, so we got to, I think we got to get this out to about here, we should roll up by the hole, too far, damn it, yeah, I took the hard bounce, Things are firm, right? Yeah. And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. Mm. 15 feet away here. This is not an easy play. That was actually good speed, wasn't it? Wow. Okay. <laughs> and this putt is for par. Uh, a snail and a turtle could have carried the ball faster as that last five feet, right? Oh, 
Paul, move on. Okay. And after that one, he'll stay at even par. And now the third hole tee off. Yeah, 88, well down. It's like 20 feet down, too, I think. He's going to play like 80 yards, so what are we going to do? Like 70, 72. <clears throat> yeah, we need like 72. That was a shot. Is it the right one? Come on. Come on. You're going to bounce up for me? Yep. A little bit. Wow. All right. And he's got to be happy. That would have been that. good if that landed on the green. All right. What do we got to do here? What do we got? 187. All right. We're in the fringe. Take the lag part here. Whatever stops rolling. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was about, about five, five minutes ago. That was that was a good part about five minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, right seems like a battle here, though. Hi. Hello. And now getting ready to tee off on this par three. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? And I think he'll like that. And this putt's for birdie. Well, I like it better than being wet. That way. This putt's about three feet away. I came here to make make bogeys and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum.
And that one's gonna go for Pat. And after that hole, he will remain at even par. And here we are on the fifth. Okay, I carried a bunker and this firm green. It's nine feet up to the front of the green, nine feet up to the flag location. It's only 11 feet up at the end, so at some point there, grows another. All right, so maybe there's a little area right behind the flag I can use. 120, it's like more like 118. The uh, 108 is not. Is the 108 going to do it this time? I don't know. Well, I would like to think that I can I can hammer up the I'd like to I think I can I'd like to think I can hammer the sand wedge up there. I would like to think that. That's fast and near straight. That's and might this do it. Definitely heading towards the green. Yep. Okay. Okay. And about ten feet to go here. All right, this is tough. <clears throat> ten feet, three inches down. This is this is not easy. Fortunately, that has rolled. That was off. dangerous. All right, now, now, now I'm looking at a bogey here or something. All right. What do we got? 98 and 100% wide here on the fringe cut. All right, we can putt it. Is it hard enough to get it there, not hard enough to hold the line? Okay, well. Alright, well, the bogey had to happen sooner or later. Let's see if we can get it back now. And moving on to the sixth. Okay, well, we got plenty of places here to get the ball wet, and we got plenty of room here to get the ball dirty. Light green, good. What do we got to do here? 148. It's more like 145. Still need the 148 club now, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Going with the nine iron. Ooh, four viewers. Hello, viewers. Earthlings. And that Peony Earthlings. And a lengthy putt in the near future. Mm. 
Okay. And for the par. And that one's uh, right in the cup. And plus one on the day after that hole. And that means he's in second place here on the leaderboard. Right, well, the other guy found himself with a bogey at some point because he's back to even through eight. All right, six feet up to the front of the green, six feet up to the flag location. It is eight feet up to there. I don't think. Oh. Is it enough club? Yeah, all right. All right, we can step on it. Okay. All right, and the putter's coming out now. And this putt is for birdie. Shoot, and that was uh, yep. that was very close. This one's about three. Uh, I was right on the first away. place. I actually second guessed myself, brought it back the other way, and missed it by more than that anyway. But still. Missed it by more than that anyway, but still. And that par putt will drop. That was totally on the wrong track. And he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Somebody had a little problem there at the end. He probably got, I bet you he got wet on the ninth hole. Could come into play. <clears throat> find out. You can get wet on this hole too, but you can definitely get wet on the ninth. All right, 94, this is going to go 97, 107, 109, yeah, I'm like on this, okay. Perfect fast. All right, that should do it. Come on. And this one's looking pretty yep. good. Yep. And now he's going to be digging that putter up. And about six feet away. It would be nice to get a birdie here. I don't see it happening now. Look look, look at the tilt on that stick. 
Holy crap. Look at the tilt on that stick. Ooh, that was, uh, that was very close. Yeah, it was some right edge. Car. Right edge coming back, right? Getting a hole, you damn dirty ape. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. And one over for the day after that hole. And that means he's first okay. overall on the leaderboard. Okay, and on to the ninth. Yeah, we got water. Water short, water left, water right. Now, if you can get this about, what, 10, 8, 9 feet, about a yard, yard and a half past the hole into the bank, it will roll back. So it's 126, it's like 123. Yep, I can hammer this, okay? I can hammer it against the wind. Don't be short. Yeah, this is not gonna be oh, crap. Okay, that's what happened to the other guy. Obviously, that's what happened to the other guy. Okay, and from Shit. 125 yards out. Damn it. <sighs> All right, well, we got no choice now, but we got to. Take like 10 yards off of this. Going with a pitching wedge oh, here. Shit. They're never going to be wet again. Uh, How does it fall apart like this? Really? Water. How yeah, does it fall apart like away. Here is the pitching wedge. Yeah, it didn't look like you had uh, clean contact on that one. I just don't, I don't understand how this is coming up. These are coming up short. Well, not a very great approach shot there. Yeah, I think the wind may have gotten a hold of that approach. Well, that's 124 to there. That was supposed to be more like, yeah, it was, wow. Okay. All right, so we are, <laughs> Obviously, we're not putting. <laughs> and that was for six. This puts about three feet away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a nice putt. All right, well, I enjoyed it nonetheless. You know, I like coming out here to play this every once in a while. <sighs> Unbelievable. Wheels can fall off at one tee shot. All right, that's it for the live stream here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in, as always. I appreciate it. Uh, 
We'll be back, I don't know, maybe, maybe this evening, uh, later this afternoon. It's Saturday after all. I got nothing to do, and it's like rain. It, it's a bitch to this town. We're going to have it's our first, like, big weekend uh, town thing down by the waterfront. You know, the, you know, the big whatever outdoor, you know, whatever festival for whatever. You know, one town's got their bear, bear festival because they think bears are cute. And we got, uh, I know, we got the... I think we have a kale festival in one other town. I mean, I, you know, some, I guess somebody had to do it. Yeah, but here we are. We're having our first main one here. Um, supposed to have fireworks at night. Uh, that didn't happen here. We got rain threatening. It's going to rain any time here. It's just, I don't know. It's a washout. Uh, so anyway, nowhere to go. All day to get there. It's Saturday. Maybe the guys will be around the afternoon to play some alternate shot or skins games or something. Or maybe this evening. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I gotta get into the baseball game here and see what I'm gonna do about them two new Yankees. I gotta get my hands on for the team, or at least the one. I'm not spending a hundred grand for a uh, signature of CC Sabathia. I don't even use him, the regular card on my regular team because I don't like his motion. I don't like his left-handed motion. I, I just don't like it. And he, he don't and he don't have the heater. Yeah, you know, the current you know the live series Sabathia does not have the heater. He certainly doesn't have the 97 he had 10 years ago. Yeah, you know, I think he's like 91 or 92 fastball now. I mean, you know, he's, he's got he's to baffle you with bullshit because he, he can't burn it by your chin anymore. Anyway, here we go. I digress here from the golf game. I'm sorry. So anyway, we might be back with some more live golf later. We shall see how that all works out. Uh, thanks for watching. and made a teach in the shell. Protect you. Yeah. Uh.